Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. This is level A2, lesson 23, unit 1. In this lesson we're going to start working on the present perfect verb tense. We'll be learning about irregular past participles and you'll learn to talk about um, activities or actions that happened in an unfinished time period. All right, so what kinds of things do you do for entertainment? Uh, this looks like these people are maybe at a concert or some sort of show. Here it looks like they might be watching some sort of sporting event maybe on TV. These kids are at the movies. So how often do you watch movies? And who do you watch movies with? How often do you go to the theater? And do you have a local movie theater, or where do you go to watch films? And these are different types of movies. Do you like horror, romance, action, or sci-fi, or science fiction? And what are your, who are your favorite movie stars? Um, so if uh, go ahead and take out a piece of paper and you can pause the video and write um, the information about your favorite actor or actress. Uh, what's their name, their age, their nationality, are they famous now, or are they a person from the past, um, do they generally star in the same kind of movie, what is the most famous movie they have starred in, and why do you like this actor or actress. All right, so we're going to read about the stars, but first we're going to look at some vocabulary words. So household name, that's an expression that means that someone is famous. Audition, it's an interview for a role for an actor, singer, or musician. Blockbuster, it's a thing of great power or size. So Wes Hancock is a new star in Hollywood. You can pause the video and read on your own, or you can follow along as I read. Wes Hancock is quickly becoming a household name. He is a young Australian actor who grew up in a town called Mandura on the west coast of Australia. After completing a degree in biology, he decided to travel and ended up in the U.S. He got into acting almost by accident after he attended an audition with a friend. The rest, as they say, is history. He has already made two block Buster action movies, and he has he said that there is so there is much more to come. All right, and now Emily Parkinson. Uh, here are the vocabulary words for this section: blessed with something. Uh, if you are blessed with a certain quality, you have a lot of that quality. And director is the person who controls the actors and crew on a film set. Emily Parkinson is a beautiful British brunette who is taking Hollywood by storm. Blessed with brains as well as looks, she has a science degree from Cambridge University. She was planning to start studying for a master's degree when a chance encounter brought her to the attention of the world-famous director, Matt Johnson. Her first movie, Stolen Kiss, has become one of the most successful dramas ever, and Emily believes that she has found her true calling. All right, so we're going to look at the differences between past simple and present perfect. Um, so we're going to look at the sentences about the movie stars, which bold verbs are in the past simple and which are present perfect. So he grew up in a town called Mandura on the west coast of Australia. Well, grew up is simple past. After completing a degree in biology, he decided to travel and ended up in the U.S. So decided and ended up are both simple past. He has already made two blockbuster movies, so has made, that's present perfect. Her first movie, Stolen Kiss, has become one of the most successful dramas ever, and Emily believes that she has found her calling. So has become and has found, those are both present perfect. So the present perfect describes actions in the past, the time period in which the action occurs, na uh, the time period in which the action occurs, 
curse continues now and is unfinished. So we, we can use the present perfect for completed actions. I have worked many hours this week. So the action is completed, but the time period isn't finished. Um, so there is the possibility that the person could work more. And she has walked 10 miles today. So again, if today isn't finished, there is the possibility that she could work, you know, walk more. We form the present perfect with have plus the past participle of the main verb. They haven't worked in this month. I've had three English lessons this week. We have watched two movies today. Emily has starred in several movies this year. And we use has instead of have when the s subject is he, she, or it. All right, so we're gonna study the positive and negative forms of the present perfect. And many past participles are same are the same as the present simple, but there are some irregular ones that you'll need to memorize. So I have worked, I have not worked, she has seen the movie, she has not seen the movie, and then the contracted forms, we've eaten a pizza, we haven't eaten a pizza, it's rained today, it hasn't rained today. And just as a reminder, we almost always use the contracted forms in spoken English. All right, so go ahead and pr uh, practice the present perfect in these sentences. Um, and all of these have a past participle ending in ed. Um, they're, all, they're also all be positive sentences. So try those on your own and then restart when you are ready to check your answers. Okay, so number one, it has rained all morning. Everything is wet. I have finished my homework. She has watched three TV shows this evening. Simon has visited many countries. Allison and Steve have worked all weekend. The basketball game has started. You have cooked dinner for your friends and we have joined a gym. All right, now these are some of the most common verbs and they're irregular past participles. And remember the past participle needs has or have in front of it to make it present perfect. So be, been, become, become, buy, bought, do, done, eat, eaten, fine, found, go, gone, have, had, no, known, say, said, speak, spoken, take, taken, think, thought, write, written. All right, to complete the sentences with the present perfect using a verb in the boxes, and just remember to use the correct past participle. So pause um, pause the video, write down your answers, and then restart when you're ready to check. So I have written the letter. We have spoken with the teacher. Jane has got or has bought, probably has bought a gift for mom's birthday. She has eaten a large breakfast. They have done their homework. Uh, Sally and Tom have gone to the movie theater. And Jane is my friend. I have known her for many years. All right. Uh, you've read about Emily Parkinson and Wes Hancock. Now we're going to read about Drake Sweeney. Uh, the vocabulary words graduate is to finish a course of education and critic is a person who judges the artistic value of a book or movie. 
So Drake Sweeney is a native New Yorker. His parents are both well-known actors, Shirley Stephen and Mike Strasberg, and throughout his childhood, he knew he wanted to become an actor. He attended the Patterson School of Drama and started to receive movie offers as soon as he graduated. His first two movies have been extremely successful, and with many critics saying that these productions have taken action movies to a whole new level. So where are the two examples of the present perfect in this text? Well, have been extremely successful is one, and have taken action movies to a whole new level is two. All right, now we're going to listen to Rachel and Will and then answer these questions. Okay, are we still going to the movies tonight? Yes, absolutely. Well, I've narrowed it down to three. My first choice is Stolen Kiss. Is that the movie with that British actress? I can't remember her name. Emily Parkinson. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it but it looks like a chick flick. It's not a chick flick. It's a thriller. Okay, so which movie does uh, Rochelle want to see? Well, she wants to see Stolen Kiss. And why isn't Will excited to see the movie? Well, he thinks that it's a chick flick. He uses the expression chick flick, which means a movie about women or um, about things that women would like. And who stars in the movie? Emily Patters Parkinson. All right, so we'll listen again and um, then mark these true or false. Okay, are we still going to the movies tonight? Yes, absolutely. Well, I've narrowed it down to three. My first choice is Stolen Kiss. Is that the movie with that British actress? I can't remember her name. Emily Parkinson. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it, but it looks like a chick flick. It's not a chick flick. It's a thriller. Hmm. It looks like a chick flick to me. Okay. What about Shark Hunter? Is that the one with that Aussie guy? Wes something? That's right. Wes Hancock. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. So, you haven't seen it either? No, of course I haven't. The only person I watch action movies with is you. Okay, well that's a possibility. It sounds better than Stolen Kiss. What's your third choice? Take Em Down. It's another action film starring that American guy, Drake Sweeney. Is anyone really called Drake Sweeney? Well, it is a pretty unusual name, but his last movie, Excessive Force, was great. Do you remember? We saw it together. How could I forget? At least he's attractive. You haven't seen this new one then? No, not yet. But it's definitely the best suggestion you've made so far. Hmm. Okay, that's settled then. Take him down it is. Great. All right, so Will has seen Stolen Kiss. That is false. Will has seen Shark Hunter, that is also false. Emily Parkinson stars in Shark Hunter, that's false. Rochelle hasn't seen Shark Hunter, that's true. Drake Sweeney stars in Take Him Down, is true. Rachel has seen Take Him Down, that's false. And Will has seen Excessive Force, that is true. All right, question forms. So to make a question in the present perfect, we invert the subject and have 
which means they switch places. So instead of he has seen the movie, it becomes has he seen the movie? Or instead of they have watched the TV show, it becomes have they watched the TV show? And then we often use ever when asking about experiences. Have you ever traveled to New Zealand? Have you ever watched a silent movie? And we use never with the present perfect when we have had no experience with whatever it is we're talking about. William has never eaten meat. He has been a vegetarian his entire life. Humans have never traveled farther than our moon. And then the short answers uh, for the have you or have you ever. So either yes, I have, no, I haven't, yes, he has, no, he hasn't. Um, and then pay attention to these examples, present simple short answers used do. So for present perfect, it's have or hasn't, have, has, haven't or hasn't. And for present simple, do you have any friends? Yes, I do. Have you eaten dinner? No, I haven't. All right, so now uh, on your own, you can write down some questions um, using the present perfect and ever, and then go ahead and answer uh, the question that you, that you wrote about these things. And here are some additional ones for more practice. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, if you have any questions, leave those for me in the comments, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.